Yay! I got the Polong Soul Orb! Now I can go kill this guy and we can leave this floor forever. That thing's huge! Gentle Eel gazed down upon them before speaking in a kind of voice. Captain, this is Gentle Eel. Gentle Eel, huh? He sure is big. Hmm? What's that now? Gentle Eel tilted back his head and began to boast. Yes. Yes, I see. What now? He says he was born in Lake Grail. Holy cow! Lake Grail eels are among the most expensive fish on the market. Hold on a moment, Mr. Eel. Gentle Eel is startled by the loud man and stares silently at the party. I have been lucky enough, on occasion, to dine on Lake Grail eel. The aroma, the texture, the moist succulence that drips down your chin like fishy honey. You, sir, are no Lake Grail eel. I bet you weren't even born in Windor. Uh, not from Windor? Gentle Eel's lowered lip begins to tremble. When he speaks, it is in a whisper. Mm. Oh. Gentle Eel says that's not true. He says he has a birth certificate and everything. Lies, sir. Damn lies. I can tell by the texture of your fleshy underbelly that you are but a common river eel. Now, prepare to pay for your crimes. What the hell, Malik? What in the hell? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god, it's like the gentleman thingy. Uh, like the the, 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 the the dude in the... Oh my god, this thing is fast. Oh god, this thing might be trouble. Holy crap. No, you don't. Nope. Oh my god, this thing might actually pose to be a, turn out to be a problem for me. See, it's pretty quick. Okay, let's do some of this, some of this, and then we'll do some of this, and then, then that. Then we'll do some of this, and then some of this, and then more of this, and then some of this. Need to break him. Ow! Got it. Yeah, it's back up now. Oh, uh, wow. He actually has a lot of hit points. Will he put up a Nova Barrier? Actually, this move is probably the best, because this is Fire Nova. The Incineration Wave is actually a Nova move as well. So it might be the best to sort of spam this all I can here. Because, uh... Yeah. It's going to be doing quite a bit of damage to him. It's Fire Nova something else. I can't remember. What is it? What is it? Fire Nova Fiend, okay. What is he? Oh, Aqua is the only one. Ow! That kinda hurt. Not gonna lie, that just slightly hurt a bit. Okay. What is he? Oh, Kreas defense is down. Oh god! Oh god! Huh. Well, this is happening. Um, Pascal, get up and use that item. Oh, thank God. That was just in time. I just gotta keep moving, man. Like, this guy's just gonna... This guy's fast in all of his attacks. He's doing a lot of paralysis, too. He's an electric eel, apparently. No, you don't. Oh, God! Yeah, he's got the hat throwing, the mouth, the spitting. He's just like the guy from the eighth or the second last uh, section of the uh, Ride Peak. Kind of wish I brought Sophie into this one, to be honest. Although uh, Hubert's pretty powerful. He's pretty. He is a powerhouse, kind of. It's just and his defense. As long as I keep him busy, Hubert can do a lot. And also, Hubert is a healer, I guess. So that ought to help, unless he's dead. Ooh, I dodged that move. 
Um, I'm not gonna bother waiting for. Oh god! Let's back up. Use one of these. Nero. Oh god! Get away from him! Everyone, get away! I don't want him to activate his Mystic Art. He is not to activate his Mystic Art. No, you don't. No, you don't. Look at that. He's pissing him off and everything. Oh, Hubert's dead again. Fancy that! Hubert died again! Oh my god, he's so good at dodging and all that fun stuff. No, you're not doing your kicky dance at me. What the hell? Wait, isn't that the... What the hell is he doing now? Hubert! How are you being hit by that? Are you that much of an idiot to walk in front of his feet when he's click kicking like that? Oh my god, okay, that, 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 I'm just, that was just annoying. Okay, yeah, okay, they healed. Okay, Sherry is now healing one? Okay, these fights are just getting more and more weird by the floor. Um, yeah. I'm just like, what? Oh my god! <laughs> At least Sharia is living through those. Except to keep knocking him towards Sharia. Not the best move I've ever made. Oh, I wanted to do it. Damn it. I guess I guess technically, I don't know if this is I have no idea what the uh, assault uh, what the uh, Mystic Arts go off of for power. Because if they if it's going off raw power, like a combined power or something like that, or I have no idea. Uh, cause Hubert is actually probably one of the more powerful attackers, it's just he can't take a punch. That's the reason why I don't like him. Um... <laughs> what in the hell is going on in this fight? Um... I just realized, we've got like, market music- OH MY GOD! Revive, thank you. Okay. Oh my god, Hubert. Cast it, cast it, cast it, cast it. Oh god. Come on! Oh great, Cheria doesn't have the uh, recover stat. Asbel, you gotta stop him! You cannot. Oh god, he's. No, oh, he's gonna die. Okay, Hubert's up! Oh god, no! I'm about to lose this fight. And I'm gonna have to, like, cancel and do other stuff because I'm not losing my Valkyrie f for this. Not, definitely not, you're losing it. No, you don't. Okay, let's do first things first is Grape Chill on me. So I can keep. He's just spamming this move over and over again. Oh, god damn it, I dodged! Well. I know what I'm doing. I'm restarting this. Cause... No. That was ridiculous. I'm not losing my $200,000 sword. So, uh, we're just gonna do a nice system load. <laughs> That's what I was always planning on doing. That was... That was stupid. Yeah. Skill points are... Hey, did you guys know skill points are required by winning battles? Uh... Well... I have my sword back. I think that's 200,000. It is the $200,000 sword, right? Level 8 is the one. I, I didn't lose more than I thought I did. Nero. Okay, nope, nope, it's still good. Well, I think I'm gonna have to train for this floor more. Now, what do I want to do now? I don't need to save. Um... I don't know what I want to do now. I don't really have much else I want to do besides this and, uh, that one of the side quests, uh, that we can do. What to do? Killed all the dragons. Um, I guess? Uh, that's an idea. I think I'll go a little bit out of the norm here. And go back to the title screen here. 
Uh, I'm going to be showing off uh, one of the other things in this game here. So we'll go into the title screen, go down to uh, go down to the Trials of Graces. I went through here a little bit, um, doing a lot of the fights that I can do already. Just have to load up one of your save files. I'll just load up the one I saved before here. And uh, basically, you can go through different fights and uh, complete them, getting points and such. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it's for, but you get rewards from it. You get different weapons and such, so uh, it's worth it in the end. As you can see, there is a level warning um, for some of these things, and some of them are really weird fights, because, uh, yeah, there's Lambda. Uh, there's a fake. Uh, where is it? Uh, two Richards. That's fight against regular Richard and uh, changed Richard. Um, call the Exterminator. This one's kind of funny, because... All of them are weak-ass monsters, but they're all extremely tiny, but they've bo beefed up their attack power. It does weird things like... Okay, I'll do Honey, I Shrunk the Party, because it's funny. So, uh, just go through it. Oh my god, look, they're giants! Oh my god, they're huge! So, it's this type of stuff. It's just random fights that you would normally never get in the, uh, in the, uh, game itself. So, it's a fun little, uh, side venture. Um... Indignation, and they're dead. Uh, you, you get nothing from them except for the rewards when you beat them the first time, though. So so I got fruit knives from those things when I first won. So, uh, Headhunter? Level 75. Uh, sure. Let's try. Let's just keep going. Some of these. Level 100 now. Uh, Headhunter, very weak to burst arts. He's got 60,000 HP. It's not that bad. And the rest of the enemies, my, the rest of my party can take care of. Yep. Bam! What is this guy weak against? Aerial per- oh, actually, I was using the right move! No, oh, I didn't mean to use that move. Oh, he's got a Nova Barrier. Oh, that's too bad! Look at that! Oh, I stabbed you with a Nova attack. I'm pretty sure that's a Nova attack, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, it is! Yeah, aerial per- It covers three of his weaknesses. All three of the elements of this one attack covers three of his weaknesses. Uh, apparently I'm being attacked by something else. Uh, that Balor is... Okay, I guess the enemies in this are actually kind of tough. There we go. I'll just keep focusing on this one guy, because I have been this entire time. Well, wrong move. Yoink. Nope. Nope. And there we go. And... Blam! Oh. Okay, this thing needs to burn. That is not a burning move, but it got me in close to stop his attack. Hey, it's a floating eye that's right. Burn it! Okay, let's keep going this. It is apparently capable of teleportation, this flower. Really, it is! It teleports. Oh, indignation. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. It died. I wonder how. Oh, they're all floating. They're all teleporting around now. Near. Oh, petrification. Interesting. This fight's taking me a little while. I'm not going to get a very high score for this. Yeah, only 1,900. I'm betting I can get, like, 3,000 or so on that one. What's the previous fight I got? What's the score on the previous fight? The Struggle Within. Wasn't that the Richard one? I think the Richard one was the last one I did. Yeah, and I did crap on it. Um, Yeah. So I got a Durandal from that. So I can fight fakes. Yeah, so you got a lot of stuff for a lot of these things. Queen Slime, that's the first boss of the game, isn't it? The green, the big huge slime at the start. Uh, so yeah, and then eventually they kick down in difficulty at the end here. Yeah, the balloon, pl pl the balloon platoon. This thing's insane. It's like one giant balloon with small tiny balloons. The one giant balloon is so high up it's hard to hit. And all the little balloons one-shot you. It's hilarious. Um... But, yeah, so if you're looking for some fun here, you can go through these. Oh my god, there's lots of tiny fakes. Uh, you just have to be careful, because they do change them so they, like some of them can one-shot you. It's kind of funny. And obviously, dying in a fight uh, lowers your score immensely. So. Oh my god, that move is awesome. Noink. Crap, I did not want to use that there. Oh god, they're all lined up! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah! Oh, I targeted the wrong one! Oh, that's a good one! Oh god, I'm getting killed now. Ah, oh, I love this move. 
Line him up! There we go. Just keep going with it. There we go. Ah, see? That's the kind of score that's pretty good. That's actually a pretty good score for that. Bizarre clump. Neat. So, um, let's see. What was some other good ones here? Three Musketeers. What was that one? Three Musketeers. Oh, yeah. Cedric, Bryce, and Victoria. Yeah, I forgot about that. Level 25. These things are easy to kill. Why not? Let's go back. Three, three previous boss fights in one. And Cedric is dead. And my party took care of the rest. Wait, is that a lower score? Wasn't I at 564? Oh, no, that was, was a high score. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the kind of stuff you get from these ones. They're kind of funny. They're kind of fun. Um, there is one fight in here, which I have no idea if I'm going to be able to beat. It's the last one on the list. I'm kind of avoiding it right now because it has a slight spoiler in it for the end of the dungeon. Of the big dungeon. Oh, yeah, a bunch of stars. Nova Wolf. Uh... And there's two Richards. A fake. Lambda's there. Queen Slime. Oh, that's four of the uh, giant dudes. Um, uh, yeah. 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 Graduation day. There you go. Yeah. Lots of stuff. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I know it's another short episode, but... Uh, I got nothing else I want to do right now besides train and grind, and I don't think I want to show that, so... Uh, I guess I can go through this. I talked about this before, but you can go down here into the museum, and you can do stuff here. You can talk to random people. There's some stuff that do some different things, or you can go over to here. You can uh, listen to the music of the world, so you can get all the stuff, uh, like all the music from the game. Uh... Oh, no, it's this one. So that's the background music for the uh, zone cage. Uh, so you get all that. You got still got the skit viewer. Um, yeah. So gotten quite a few. Thirty-five pages of them. And seventeen, twenty-seven, thirty-seven, forty-seven, fifty-seven, sixty-seven, seventy-eight. Apparently, there was a big jump there. Oh no, I just missed one. Apparently, I missed uh, two seventy-one. Apparently, seventy-eight, eight, eight, eight. Nine, I apparently missed one in here. I missed, uh, 318. Uh. And then there's a big jump there for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see here. What do you have? Oh, yeah, you got all the, uh, movies we can rewatch. Yeah, the Blossom Gale, all that stuff. That's all the animated, uh, shorts. Like the launching and the, uh, Blossom. What the hell? It's like a giant apple gel. Whatever. Um, what else is there? This new game plus. I guess I can go through the grade shop a little bit here. Wouldn't mind seeing how much grade I actually have. So we go to extras, new game plus. We can select our save file here. You can see how much grade I have now. Now that I've actually done a lot of these side quests and such. So uh, yeah, we got the clear bonus. Uh, this is basically what difficulty level you've beaten times the number of times you've beaten the game. That's consecutive playthroughs. So new game plus would get me like another multiply of this. So I have no idea what the exact formula or whatever is. I like for instance, if I was getting like 250, uh, I went and beat the game on hard. I think I mentioned this. I don't know, I can't remember when I mentioned that. I don't know if I mentioned it in the video. Um, but I beat the game on hard, uh, so I got 250. I think it was uh, 100 or something like that before. But uh, I'm thinking it would double if I beat the game on New Game Plus, or it would increase more if I beat the game on Chaos or whatever. Um, title bonus, got a lot of titles. Art is, yeah, if I ever use an art that's 9,999, I can get a bonus there. Skill bonus, uh, number of skills you learned during play, so that's number of things I've learned. Book completion, uh, number of books you've completely filled in your, during play. I think the only book that's complete right now is the Discovery book. Dis complete right now is the Discovery book. Um, although I do have the generic items 100% complete, like the gel, the same section the gels are in. I have those. I don't have all the kind of crafting ones or the weapons or the armors or anything like that, but I got all the generic items. Uh, side quest bonus. I don't. I won't be able to get the max out of this in this playthrough. Technical bonus, based on the number of combat and combat tech bonuses you earned. Uh, I think that's gone up quite a bit since the last time I 
checked. I think I was at like 50 something before. But then, uh, but, but when I checked before, I was under a thousand fights. Now I'm like around 2,500 or something like that. Uh, combo bonus, longest combo. Uh, that is a direct correlation. Every hit is one point because uh, my highest combo right now is 204. Uh, EX dungeon bonus. Oh, progress through the zone cage. Cool. Beating the game uh, based on how number of hours. Apparently, to get the 100% of this, you need to get beat the game in under 12 hours. And before anybody thinks otherwise, it is possible. If you skip every side quest, you go on easy, you just crush everything, skip over everything else, just go. Do it on New Game Plus. Uh, you can do it. Uh, Tales of Vesperia was 50 hours long on my channel from the playthrough, but I beat the game in like nine hours and to get the achievement for the speed running. Uh, extermination bonus, number of soul orbs. I think that's another direct correlation because that looks about right. Uh, enhancement bonus, uh, number of armaments you enhance to the maximum level. Um. I didn't know I had a maximum level yet. Whatever. Save the gels! I did definitely use gels during this playthrough, and I definitely had some people die in this playthrough. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the kind of bonuses you're getting. So it's a lot harder to get points. Um, so that's how you get the points. What you spend them on is all of this. So I still can't get Inherit the Skills, which would be the most devastating out of all of these, because you can carry over all the skills. That means you get all your arts, all the arts learned and everything. All your titles will be learned and everything, so... Yeah. Inherit all the skills you've learned. Your accumulate progress will make a big impact. That's the one I'm kind of aiming for. I would really love to get a lot of... I don't think I'd be able to get them all, but I'm not exactly sure. I think I'd have to get, get another playthrough if I was going to do Inherit skills. I'd have to beat the game one more time to get more point more uh grade but uh let's see titles inherit the elf mixer would be a good one uh gold i wouldn't care too much about uh art usage would be good because there's boosts for that uh battle items books don't care about shards uh didn't use all those herbs in vain right you could end up uh, pretty buff right off the bat oh Oh, I haven't even used any of those herbs, barely. That's barely anything for me. Inherit stamps. That is debatable, whether or not that's good. Trade experience for gold. Yeah, if you want to run through the entire game with at level 1, you can. Uh, then you can double experience, 5 times experience, uh, triple the SP, but uh, I don't know if you'd want to worry about those two if you're going for... Uh, if you're carrying over your skills. I don't think you need to worry about that too much, I don't think. Mastery bonus... Earn twice as the usual SP for titles you mastered on your previous playthrough. Good value. Earn twice the usual SP for titles? Oh, whatever. Double items. Uh, upgrade Elf Mixer faster. Dualized discount. That'd be a good one. Expand inventory. Yeah, that's another good one. It allows you to carry 30 of each item instead of 15. Um, double damage. Everything is dealt... Uh, all, all the d damage is doubled, so... Uh, if you're going through the game, both the enemies and the your allies will do double the damage. It makes the game go faster. And then even faster... <laughs> can you actually combine? Oh my god, ten times the damage. That'd be fun to do. That'd just be fun to go through the entire thing. Then you can skip your childhood. Inherit the Cardas. Increase your maximum HP by 1,000. Increase Elf by, Elf by 500. Unlock El all, unlock all the qualities that weren't possible before. Apparently there's better qualities. I don't know. This one's for the old school Tales fans. Oh, okay. That's probably not for me then. I only know the two games really well. Yeah, so I still got a lot left. Okay, let's see. If I was actually going into this, I would want the. I got the double uh, five times, yes. <clears throat> um. Dualized discount would be good. Maximum speed, that actually is quite good for a speed run of the game. Uh, if I was doing a speed run, it would be that. Um, I don't know. Then I would, uh, yeah, then I would just do other stuff. Uh, if I was to do an actual speed run, I would probably skip over the skills and then do it for my next second playthrough. I wouldn't do the skills, I'd do everything else. Um, let's see. Double critical. The criticals are friends and foes. Oh my god. These attacks will be devastating. Um, 
Actually, if I were to do this, I'd probably do that. Because I don't have all the things learned from the titles. And that. Ah! That's probably what I would go through. And then I probably wouldn't skip the childhood, because this childhood would let me learn everything. Uh, it would let me level up a little bit faster. And I'd be able to do some of the side quests I missed. Yeah! Okay, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, yeah. I ex managed to extend it by looking at other stuff in this game for post-game users. Have a good one, guys!